This is an application diagram of a remote monitoring or SCADA system that has a couple interesting elements. Uh, if we start from the top, you can see that the master stations that are collecting information from all of these remote sites, there are primary and secondary master stations here. What that means is that when this first team on LNX is monitoring the network, it will be syncing its information to the secondary. And then if anything ever goes wrong with that primary, the secondary is gonna take over after it detects that that happens. It takes about less than a minute. But we have some clients where they will use a team on, say, in New York, and another in San Francisco. These can also be on the same rack as one another, and that offers some hardware redundancy, but if you can get them in different cities, that's excellent because then if a natural disaster rolls through or any other big problem, power failure maybe, you're able to have your secondary off-site and have it continue to function. And what are these Team on Master Stations monitoring? They are looking at some NetGuardian RTUs, and we have two different types here. There's some NetGuardian 832AG5s on the first two lines here, and those are some full-featured remotes that can take in a pretty healthy amount of different things. You have 32 discrete inputs, so you can take in 32 contact closures. You have eight analog inputs, and one of those analog inputs would be used for this temp and humidity sensor. You'd actually use one input for temp, another input for humidity, and then you would know the temperature and the humidity with a pretty high degree of accuracy, and that's obviously very important at any kind of remote infrastructure site that may have servers or radios or any kind of equipment. you got to know that the cooling system is working. Then down at the bottom you'll see a NetGuardian 216F and that is significant because it actually has SFP fiber sockets. You can connect your SFP modules and put this thing on a fiber ring and when you do that it will also be able to drop off network for other devices because it has a little switch on the back. So that is one unique thing about a, a different kind of NetGuardian that has fiber on it and th the combination of these different kinds of RTUs were what were necessary to make this particular network monitoring system work. If you'd like more information about this or any similar application for your network, give us a quick call at 559-454-1600. You can also send me an email at sales at dpstele.com.